first day media done. Yeah, media, photos, interviews, um, quite a bit of motion on the interview. Uh, but yeah, oh god, I haven't been emotional in weeks, but we're here now, so, but I'm happy. Yeah, this is all part of your story though, isn't it? Yeah, just finish it Saturday night, get that one, that one that's all done nice. Yeah, we're going to the open workout. Just do a bit. Just gonna do like um, some skipping and shadow boxing. And, and then uh, I do a pipe session. You gotta get them from, from his shop. You gotta get off. Back at the end. How was that? Yeah, it's alright, we just a little bit of shadow boxing. Nothing really. But just gotta do them things for five weeks. Talk us through what you've got. Oh, my pretty. This is the essential bag electrolytes, coffee, ops. Makes a. Got my food scales for my oats. And we've got some dates. Almond butter. This is so good, you know. Could eat it for a jar. I got some protein bars, energy gels, and I got some jam that's for after weighing. I'm gonna put it on some rice cakes. Every fight, I always have to bring this stuff. The derby, oh, the Rams. Every every fight since. My second fight in Italy. Um, there's a guy from Italy, and he's been a fan of mine for like years since I was on the GB squad. And he came to a fight in Italy, bless him, and he brought me there because he's a proper derby fan as well. And so every fight I've brought it with me. And uh, sometimes Cliff will wear it to the ring, and that's literally the only thing that I bring, make sure I bring it every time. No, I enjoyed it today. The probably the last camp 
the last fight I probably didn't really enjoy it because um, it's something that I didn't do in camp in the prep right and my weight was not good. So I was just thinking of my weight and I just didn't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> and whereas now my weight's good, like so I'm enjoying it more. And now you've done things, well, you said yourself, like you've done things different. How does that make you feel mentally? Because you look fantastic. Yeah, like mentally, it's just, I'm just happy and so confident. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to get this win. It's, I just want to get this win and just like, and then like, it's just like so much taking off my shoulders, do you know what I mean? Like, there's so, so many things that will be like, it will be so, I know it's going to be emotional like, after the fight, but it'll be, it's from what's gone on behind the scenes, like getting mentally strong again, and then finishing it off with a win would be like the best thing. Right then guys, I'm going to take a nap and because uh, I've got training later, so get out of here. I was saying this to Cliff that I'm not nervous for this fight. You always get a little bit nervous for your fighters, but I genuinely don't see this. <laughs> it's boxing, anything can happen, right? But I don't even see it as a 50 50 fight. When yeah. Sandy's in this place, when she's on it mentally yeah. like this, when she's phys physically on it like this, nobody beats her. And you may say that's biased. I'm telling you what I see. So I'm excited for this fight because I think it's going to be a career best performance from her. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And I genuinely, I'm excited for the fight. I, you know, there's no kind of nerves there for me. You know, she's ticked every single box. She's in the best place she's ever been. Best camp. And I know, yeah, it's a bit cliche. Everybody says it, but it's a genuine thing. And I. Yeah, I think it's going to be an absolute masterclass on fight night. I've never seen her in a better place. And I'm excited for the fight. I'm not nervous. I'm excited because I've seen what she's put in, seen the place she's in now, seen what Cliff's done with her. Um, yeah, it's been great. I'm looking forward to it. So, All I can say is that wait until Saturday and see what she brings. Because if she brings half of what she's got, she's got enough. So, you know, that was the worst Sandy Ryan I've ever seen. That was probably the best Farias's fight what she's ever boxed in a very, very long time. So, you know, the Farris is coming there bringing it, thinking that she's going to box the same Sandy Ryan. She's, she's boxing the original Dan Dada. So, we'll see Saturday. It's all on. Do you want to tell us what just happened outside? Oh yes, we've seen Farias at the entrance. Let's give him a little fist bump. Um, no. Even if like we're getting in each other's faces or whatever, off on stage, like that, that happens in the heat in a moment. But like at all times, just be respectful. And then, but then, Saturday night, the respect will be after the fight.
about yeah, finishing yeah. when the fight is over. How's she looking? Perfect. Perfect. I've not seen her like this since she was 12. <laughs> 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 Tomorrow night, no, Saturday night, got my time zone's wrong, Saturday night, make sure you're there, explosion, guaranteed. She's making them moves. It shows a bit of, yeah. It, uh, to me, it shows a bit of, yeah, bit of nerves on her side more than Sandy's side. So no, everything's good. All good. It's a phenomenal team shape. Sandy Bryan. She's ready for this semi. Let's jump. Good, good. Hey guys. End of the day, press are done. You look like you're feeling mentally and physically amazing. So yeah, give us an update. Um, it's Thursday night, the night before the weigh-in. I've just done my first session of the day. Yeah, Thursday night. Um, I've just done my first session. Just like run on the treadmill, just to keep the weight where it is because I'm on weight. So yeah, um, weigh-in tomorrow and. God, I've never been in this position where I'm on weight. <laughs> um, normally I'm waking up and I'm going to get a hot bath, so I'm in a good position. Mm -hmm. Gonna go back shower. 
I'm probably eat a little. Gosh, and drink some sparkling water. I just think. She smells. <laughs> she smells. She think. She's just, in fact, what she's just done is, yeah, just poured all water over herself and pretend like she's been on the treadmill. But, you know, well, I caught her, so she had to do the work properly. You know what I mean? So, how many days to go now? Two days to go. Not even two days. One and off days. And then we'll see if everything comes to plan. She has an absolute tremendous performance. We're going to wrap up now, and you're going to come back tomorrow at the weigh-in. Thursday night, 24 7 at night, and I am going for food the night before the wedding. Food time! I'm gonna eat your food. <laughs> We're fresh and we're ready. Chop them potatoes over there. I'm only eating the chicken anyway. Yeah. yeah. Food time. Oh, I'm having not chicken, I'm not having the potatoes. And broccoli. Oh, it's sparkling water for me. Yeah. This looks like the nutritionist got chips. I've got a chip oh, on the way. Oh, he's got yeah. coke as well. Meant to be nutritionist. Yeah. Fall on chicken. Clips on the chicken and sweet potato. Good session done on the pads, so clear. Stretching out now. But he was very good. But it's it's very good because he's having to come second. He's having to come second. We've got Jean, Paul, and Paul Frosty. Done it on here. Don't need a gym. You just need a little space. We've got squat on.